Dibble Show with Ben Darnell. And first dibs question day is sponsored by Tire Depot. People, I keep saying it, it's pouring rain for three days. Now it's going to get down in the 20s this week. Get over to Tire Depot, get you a good set of Cooper or Michelin or BF Goodrich or Hankook. Doesn't matter. Get the best tire put on your car by Tony and his team of experts at Tire Depot. Just off Route 6 in Bristol, go online at tiredepotct.com. How big of a deal is it for UConn not to land Cooper Flag? Mm, I think basketball-wise, it'll be all right. First of all... Him and Donovan are best buds, and like all the recruiting stuff, like Donovan and him were peas in a pod. Like Donovan's not going to be here next year. I hate to break it to everybody; he's going to the NBA. NBA. And he and he probably told that to him too. Possibly, but here's the other thing: if Cooper comes here, he's not going to be here the year after that. It's a one and done situation. I look at it more as the bigger picture. That if why 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 not us? I'd have to think it's money, man. Yeah. I'd have to think it's NIL dollars. I understand that this kid wanted to go to Duke when he was born. It was like his dream landing spot since he was one years old or whatever. But brass tacks of things. I, I think a lot of this recruiting stuff now and always has been, but even more now because it's out in the open, NIL dollars. That's the only thing I can think of. And if you know this becomes a trend, where you lose these big, big, big recruits, it's a bad deal. It's a bad deal. Well, I look at it right here. He's projected top 25 in the NBA draft this year, or 2025 next year. Next year, yeah. Um, you know, you were just at Boston College. Boston College isn't a big player anymore in, in college football. They were when I was young, probably 20, 30 years ago. They were big time. They're not there anymore, but they're in the ACC. And that's where they went, and they left the Big East, and they left UConn behind. That's still in my mind from 20 years ago, and people may forget because you're too young. You don't remember that that when you know you and then UConn got blackballed, and then they go to the AAC, and now UConn's back in the Big East, and now UConn wants to get out of the Big East again. So there's a lot of politics involved in this. Yeah. But the bottom line is, as a kid, if I'm if I'm weighing where I want to go, and someone is, I don't know what the financials are. But the financials between – I told you this the day he came here on the recruiting trip. It's 5,000 people at a football game. They didn't even bring not, him to the football game because no, they No, they didn't. They knew. They knew. If he saw, he's not stupid. These people aren't stupid. You know, hey, listen, dude, you can go there or you can go to Duke. And Duke right now is happening in other sports, and so is UConn. But, man, when it comes to NIL and it comes to propping yourself up for the NBA, where do you want to go? And I think that the lot more and and listen, we love and we bleed UConn, but that that's us. Um, that's not everybody. Every everybody's weighing their options, and I'm sure he had options to go to other big universities out there. Um, and so, listen, I, I mean, from week to week, listen. A month ago, Colorado was the biggest uh, name out there. They're not anymore because you know what? They're losing football games. And and prime time or Deion Sanders is is upset about that, and he's like, "Listen, I'm going to change that." And so I'm sure that a lot of recruits are going, "Yeah, change. Okay, well, I can go here. I can go there. There's a lot of other schools right now um, financially can offer. And I'm not just talking about this kid. Women, female athletes, other athletes, they can choose other places. That's what NIL has done. It's even the playing field when it comes to recruiting athletes. So it's not just Duke per se. It's every, it's USC, what they're doing with UCLA. It's what's happened to the Pac-12. If you, if you don't understand what's happening with the landscape out there in college sports, you're not paying attention. But in the last five years, it's done a 180. We need to get on NIL in so many different forms and fashions for the UConn. For- we're baseball. late to this party, Ben. We're late. And we're still not showing up. N- not compared to some of the other halves of the world of Power 5. Right, but B, and that's the NBA draft. So, multiple things. I do believe that Coach Hurley has put so many guys already in a short amount of time in the NBA. 
I do believe the culture that he has created over there at stores amongst those 15 is second to none in this country. Honestly, I thought that's what was going to win him over is the brotherhood that exists, not just with the, the 15 that are there now, past, present, and future of the culture over there in that locker room. Um, and it, I just it doesn't matter anymore. Like, don't talk to me about schools. I can argue that, yeah, Duke's a better school in certain forms and fashions. I can argue that UConn's. I'll argue right. up and down that, that hanging out at stores, believe it or not, is a lot better college experience than living in Durham or being behind those closed walls of Duke for four years or, again, one year. But I think when you asked me when you, if you were coming out this year, dude, I'm going to put a bag of money on the table. That's right. It's not going to matter what the school name it's is. Not gonna it's matter. about what are you putting in my bank account. Yeah. What are you putting in my future? This kid's 16 right now. 16. Going on 17. Yeah. He's got options. He reclassified this, as a senior this year. I, I yeah. know. And and you know, go go back to because people may not. I was living in, in L.A. when I met Bryce Harper, and I met this snot nosed kid, and everybody was talking about him, and it was kind of kind of disconcerting at the time because this is well before NIL, and and he chose. To leave school as a 16-year-old, he was, was you know, all over Sports Illustrated. They're talking about what he can do, blah, 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 blah. And, and he, instead of going like UCLA or USC or going LSU for baseball, he went to a JUCO. He went to a JUCO because he was like, I don't need them as much as they need so me. True. Right. So this true. kid doesn't need UConn or Duke. Or Duke, yeah. He's thinking about the big picture is, listen... Uh, Cooper Flag in two three years is going to be in the NBA. Mm -hmm. Every and you know this as well as I do. What, one of the things they're talking about. I'm just going to switch gears with Shohei Otani. Yeah, they're talking about already, and you see it every World Series game five six seven times a game. A New Balance commercial. Oh yeah, I heard that, him speak. Have right. you heard the speaking you, ones? You've heard Whoa. him speak now. So New Balance has millions millions of dollars behind uh, Shohei Otani. Trust me, where he makes his next move has a lot to do with these people. And it, James Harden, when he went to Houston, you may have forgotten this deal, $200 million Adidas from Adidas, okay? Yeah. So that's the money we're talking about. Just saw a thing. Magic Johnson just became a billionaire, okay? He's part owner of the Commanders. Mm -hmm. Okay, these people are thinking way down the road from just being 16-year-old Cooper Flag and UConn or Duke. So uh, it's not it's not that he's dissing UConn or 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 picking Duke over this. He's 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 thinking his brand and how Duke benefits his brand. He's not thinking about how oh I can't wait to get to Duke because I'm I'm going to help Duke win a national championship. No, he's thinking about a stepping stone to his career. Honestly, I don't blame him. No. Um, I think all these kids should try to maximize their potential Absolutely. because it is a short shelf life. There's no way that you can even think that I'm going to be an NBA star at the age of 40. Yeah, like you can think right now, and he's definitely on the path to be a first round lottery draft pick. But you don't know when your time's going to run out. You don't know when you're going to get into, God forbid, some kind of accident that's going to leave you without the ability to play the game. So you got to get yours when you possibly can. This kid was in Maine. Maine, man. Nobody goes and recruits hoops in Maine. No, it, but he was found because he's so good. If you're then, good, they'll come find you. And he took his Maine fellas to some big-time right. tournaments. Now this year he'll be playing at Mount Verde a place that everyone goes to recruit basketball. Why? Better competition, a better look, and a better part to build his own personal brand. It's not about making Mount Verde champions. It is about Cooper Flag. And God bless him, man. I just wish he'd be here in a couple of years, and we're going to have to face him now. But so so be it. Bring it on, because I love this men's team that we got rocking this year. That's right. UConn doesn't need him. They're good enough without him. Would have been fun to have him, but hey, yeah. Duke's got him now. Mm -hmm. So... Quit your crying. All right, when we come back, who we had. Oh, I'm going to start crying on this. Oh, yeah. Some pretty good picks here, some pretty bad picks as <laughs> usual. We'll be right back.